man. You will never share your glory with anybody, Almighty God, that is your name. Amen, hallelujah, oh, amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah, oh, amen. Amen, hallelujah, oh, amen, hallelujah, amen. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again in my life. Open my eyes. To see Jesus, who sitteth upon the throne. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, do we tag do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus who sits upon the truth. Thou art one. Thou art worthy, O Lord, worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, and power, for Thou hast created all things and for Thy Pleasure, dear, oh, work we There is none who lay as the Lord. As the Lord, there is none beside him, beside him. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. He may, he may love, he may love. Jehovah Mila, Imela O, Ime Imela O, Imela, Jehovah Mila, A inekile, A inekile, A turuge mama O, Ime. Jehovah Mila. Amen.
to the mighty God. I give you praise for you are awesome God. You are lily terror, awesome God. You are lily terror, for you are awesome God. Our Father, our God, we thank you and we bless you. We honor you. Thank you, Lord, for this moment, a moment to hear from you, a moment to bring before your throne of grace our heart desires, moment to hear your response from our prayers. Thank you, Lord, because your presence is here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know, God, because we have gathered here today, the devil is, already, is also here just to report. Father, Lord, as usual, we bind him and we take him to where he belongs in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, take prominent control. Have dominion in this service today. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. For your salvation here, for your deliverance, for your healing, for your signs and wonders and miracles, your open doors, your breakthroughs, your open heavens, Thank you, Father, for the blessings of Abraham, for the riches and wealth of Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all this you have made us a blessing to our generation. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. You are welcome to this a prophetic prayer meeting today. Prophetically, we shall be praying. As I welcome you, I welcome your beloved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know, no matter where you are at this moment, no matter your situations, your challenges, you are getting the breakthrough right now as we pray this prayer. God is your creator. He can never create you be below his own standard. That's why we are praying today. We are telling God the fact that he has made us a blessing. We are blessed. Blessed to our generation. Bless to our homes. Bless in this present world. In the world today, we are in the land of your Goshen. Hallelujah. Let us turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. You know, that place is talking about when God met Abraham, telling him to leave his country, his family, his kinsmen and women to the land that he was going to show him. Hallelujah. And I told you the other time that leaving your, 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 your parents, your family, your kinsmen and women, your country, is a blessing. Let me tell you, 
one can be a blessing without one's family background, without the so-called background in our life. One can be a blessing without backgrounds, without any background in your life. God is your background. Hallelujah. I prophesy to somebody here. I want you to know that you can do, you can do without your backgrounds. You can do without your backgrounds. Jesus is your background. God, I mean, God the Father is your background. Jesus is your background. The Holy Ghost is your background. Know that today, that you can do without backgrounds. I can do without the so-called backgrounds we have today. I want us to pray this prayer. As you pray this prayer today, your backgrounds cannot rob you of being a blessing in your life. Your background has something to do for you not to have yes the blessing in your life. Your background cannot stop you to be the blessing the, 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 the blessing you are to people in your life. Say with me, oh Lord, help me to know that I can do without family backgrounds, without my country background, as far as you are concerned in my life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me to know I can do without my family background. I can do without my family background. As far as you are concerned in my life, I can do without my family background. I can do without my family background. In the name of Jesus, I can do without my family background. Father, as far as you are concerned in my life, as far as Jesus Christ is concerned in my life, as far as the Holy Ghost is concerned in my life, I can do without my family background. I can do something. I can do something. I can go everywhere. I can achieve what I want to achieve without my family background. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Let's balance this thing. When I say we can do without our family background, I'm not telling you that being a blessing, being the blessing God has made you to be to your generation, to your world, to your country, to your neighbor, mishatred or enmity with your kings, I mean with your brothers and with your relatives in your life. No, it does not mean that. It does not mean that. I'm not talking about you wanting to be a millionaire, want to be a billionaire, you want to be whatever you want to be, and now you now go about killing one or the other in your family, your loved ones to make it. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. So I want us to pray this way, Jamie. Because there are people today, their family life have been divided, have been destroyed. Com on heavy competition, they are doing one another. I'm going to pray, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, remove enmities from my life, remove hatred from my life. In the name of Jesus, remove enmity from my life, remove hatred from my life, remove hatred from my family life, remove, yes, Lord, division, quarreling, yes from my family life, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, remove hatred, remove infighting, 
Lord, backbiting, quarreling, infighting, Lord, from my family lives, in the name of Jesus, from my family lives, in the name of Jesus, removed, fighting, division, hatred, enmity, from my family life, in the name of Jesus, I paralyze every spirit of hatred in my family life, in my home, in my house, in my marriage life, in my relationship, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray. Let me tell you, leaving your country, leaving one's country, certain individuals, as God has instructed Abraham here, is for a season, you know. It's for a season. It's not a permanent limit. No, no, no. It's for a season. Yes. It's for a season. You know, it's like what Paul was saying to his own people. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2. First uh, Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5. There, though Paul was talking about husband and wife in a marriage, that they can separate themselves to do some certain things for a season. Just for a season. Yes. I want us to pray. Many people don't know how to maintain the season God has given to them. They have not been able to manage the season. They don't even know God's own season in their life for God to make them the blessing. Make them a blessing to their own people. I want us to pray at this time. You must know the season you are. You must create seasons for yourself. You know, we must create seasons for ourselves. We must know the time we are. I want you to pray. Father, I receive your season in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your season in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your season in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your season in my life. Your season in my relationship. Your season in my marriage life. Your season in my ministry. Your season in my life. In my daily life. Your season. I receive your season. I receive your seasons in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your seasons. I receive your seasons. I receive your seasons in my life. I receive your seasons in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your season. Oh Lord, help me to know your seasons in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let me tell you, it's very necessary. Everything we do has its own time. I want you to know, knowing your season is very important. But what I'm telling you here is this. In this prophetic message, prophetic prayer that we are praying here, I want you to know what we are talking about, God's own instruction about becoming a blessing. You want to be a blessing to humanity. You want to be a blessing to your family. That is what we are talking about here. God told Abraham to leave his own country. I have just told you it's not for hatred purposes. It's not for fighting one another. It's not for us to diabolically destroy our family life. No, it's for a season. You can still remember when Abraham wants to marry, he sent his own servant to go and marry in it in suicide. Yes, that is to show that God was not telling Abraham to launch war attack against his own family. That is not what we are praying. Let me tell you, 
Anything you are doing with enmity, it doesn't succeed. Whether somebody made you to do that or you are creating it for yourself, God can never make a such a person a blessing. Of course, you see what is happening in the whole world today. People who don't have God at heart, they have access to the wealth of the country and see how they are cornering it to their own side. That's what we are saying. So in this place, we are saying about God's own instruction. God has given us directive how he wants to make us a blessing. I want you to pray because many people are still battling with, their, with God's own instruction in their life. I want us to pray that God should give us the enablement to receive the power, the grace to receive his own instructions in our life. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive your instructions. I receive your instructions in my life. I receive your instructions in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your instructions. I receive your instructions. Father, help me to receive your instructions. In the name of Jesus, help me to receive your instructions in my life in the name of Jesus. Help me to receive your instructions in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, as individual, help me to receive your instructions. Lord, as a church, help me to receive. Help us, O oh God, as a church, to receive your instructions. As a family, help us to receive, Father, your instructions in our lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Listen to me. When we say, A hey, God asked Abraham to leave his country, there are many people who don't really know the essence we are talking about. Country also means your land. You should leave your land. It means that you should do what? Leave the land. If you don't understand what I mean by country. Today, receive that anointing to leave that land God wants you to leave. Don't fight for land. Don't quarrel for land. A piece of land, a piece of land. You are fighting and quarreling, taking one another to court, using diabolical power to win one another. You don't need to leave. You can leave. God has a reason for telling Abraham to leave that land. Yes, he has a reason. God told Abraham, leave that land. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Yes, he said, leave that land. Hallelujah. Where did he say he should go? Unto a land. God has a land for you. God has a land. He told Abraham, leave that land. Come to the land I have for you. I want you to receive the land in your life. The land God has given to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the land God has for you in the name of Jesus. I receive the land God has for me in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, I receive your land. I receive your land. I receive your land in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your land in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your land in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your land in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive your land in my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, the land that you have given to me, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, in any way that the devil and his forces, his agent, fighting over the land that you have given to me, in the name of Jesus, I receive victory over them in the name of Jesus. I receive your victory over them in the name of Jesus. I receive your victory over them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, receive the land God has given to you. Amen.
Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you, this is very important. It is not every land wants stays that will be a blessing. It is not every land one has one will be a blessing. It is not every land you have you will be a blessing. If not, God would not have told that Abraham, told Abraham to leave that where he was to another one. Hallelujah. He would not have told him like that. So I want you to know that it is not every land one has makes one a blessing. So I want you to pray that God should help you to know the land he has for you. That you be a blessing. That God should not allow you to be in a land. Maybe the land of your company, the land of your office, the land of your business. That will not make you a blessing. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know the land you have in my life. Help me to know my own land. Your land in my life. In the name of Jesus, help me to know your own land in my life. In the name of Jesus, that piece of land, those pieces of land that you have for me, help me to know them. In the name of Jesus, help me to know your lands, your plots of land in my life. In the name of Jesus, help me to know what you have given to me in my life. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, you will know in the name of Jesus Christ. You will know. You will know your own land in the name of Jesus. I will know my own land in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your grace and power, you are nothing upon my life. Father, help me to know your own land in my life in the name of Jesus. And don't allow any power any enemy, yes, satanic agents, to take the land that you have given to me in the name of Jesus. Father, any land that you have given to me right now that the devil is fighting over, send your angels, O oh Lord, to daze them and drive them away from those lands in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, if you pray that prayer, no man will struggle, struggle your land with you. Any man that will go struggling, God's giving land to you. Shall not see the light of the day. In the name of Jesus, in the name of God, say that I will show you. God said that He has a land to show Abraham. God has a land to show you. God will show you your own land. God will show you. Your own lands, your own lands, the lands He has given to you in your life, in the name of Jesus. Say with me, O oh Lord God, show me my lands, show me your lands in my life, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. Show me my lands, show me my land, Father. Open my eye to see my land, in the name of Jesus. Open my eye. To see my land in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, there are many processes of obtaining lands. Many of you, as I pray right now, you know you are in the process of acquiring land, acquiring anything. I want you to pray this prayer with me. We talk about the approval of one's land. Approvers. So people are running up and down from one table to the other looking for approval of their land. I want us to pray. As we pray this prayer today, they will call you to say your land has been approved. They will tell you that that your file, I don't know what's contained in that file, have been approved. 
Let me tell you, this is a prophetic service, a prophetic prayer. As we are praying this prayer, some people are getting approval because this is what we are here to pray. I want you to say, Oh Lord God, I receive your approvals in my life. I receive your approval. I receive your approval in my life. I receive your approvals in my life. I receive your approvals in my life. Approvals for my location. Approval for my business. Approval for my ministry. Approval for the land that you have given to me. Approval for the money that you have approved to me. For me. In the name of Jesus, I receive your approval. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your approval. I receive your approval. In the name of Jesus. I receive your own approval. I want you to open your mouth and pray. No matter what you are pursuing today in your office, see, see, see. I want you to know as you pray this prayer, they will call you and say, hey, your document, your file have been approved. Come for it. Lord God, I receive your approvals. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive your approval. Because when you approve my file, when you approve anything, for me, no man can delay, no man can hide that fight in my life in the name of Jesus. I receive your approvals in the name of Jesus. I receive your approval in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Another thing we talk about, about land, is the allocation of the land God has given to you. I want you to open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, I receive your allocation. I receive your allocations. I receive your allocations. I receive your allocations. Allocations. All the allocations that you have approved for me. I receive them. I receive them in the name of Jesus. I receive your allocations. Father, I receive your allocation. I receive God's allocations. I receive God's allocations. I receive God's allocations. I receive God's allocation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the allocation of your budget, the allocation of your finances, the allocation of, of your signs and wonders, the allocation of breakthrough, open door, open heaven. I receive your allocations. I receive your allocations in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your allocations in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your allocations in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive your allocations in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, no matter the document of your approval of your allocation, today I ask that you receive it in your life in the name of Jesus. Receive any document that you are looking for right now. Maybe immigration document, maybe your contract document, whatsoever document you are looking for right now, receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I receive your documents in my life. I receive your documents in my life. I receive your documents in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your documents in my life. I receive your documents in my life. Open your mouth and pray. That document that you have been looking for, for God's approval for your own allocation. Father, I want you to open your mouth and say, Father, I receive your documents. I receive your documents. I receive your documents. I receive your documents in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive your documents in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, I want you to go there. What he's saying again is one, see the land. It's one thing for you to possess your document, getting approval, everything signed, allocation ready, is for you now to see the land. God is showing you. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. I want you to know, you will see the land. God is showing you in your life. You will see the land. There are many people today. They approve everything for them. They have spent a lot of money for them. But they can't see the land on ground. Today, in the name of Jesus, any power hiding your land, receive that land. I break the power of the devil. I break his hand over your landed properties in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you will see the land God is showing you 
you will see the land God has proved for you. You will see the land you have bought with your money in the name of Jesus. You will see the land God has for you in the name of Jesus. Say with me, O oh Lord God, help me to see the land you have shown me. You are showing me in my life. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me to see the land you are showing me in my life. In the name of Jesus, Almighty eternal God, help me to see the land you are showing me in my life. Help me to see the land you have given to me in my land, in my life. Help me to see the land I have bought with my money. Help me to see the land I have inherited from my parents, from you, in the name of Jesus. Help me to see the land you are showing me, you have shown me in my life, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You must see the land God has given to you in your life. Yes, that landed property, that parcel of land, that empty land, God has graciously given to you in the name of Jesus. God, help me to see the land you are showing me in my life. Help me to see the land you are showing me in my life in the name of Jesus. Help me to see the land you are showing me in the name of Jesus. If you are in this platform today, you are having any issue with land. You are having any issue with landed properties. Today, in the name of Jesus, I release that property is to you in Jesus' name. I release that properties people have been fighting you over. Today, I release it to you. Today, I release it to you. Today, receive that land. Today, receive that landed properties in your life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, I move to Jackie. I'm going to read Genesis chapter 12, 2 and 3, verses 2 and 3. Hallelujah. It says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and cause them, or I cause him, that caused thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Today I prophesy for your prayers. Let me tell you, God is not a God of emergency. God does not just wake up and start doing something he has not planned. Everything about God these programs, they are all in place. Let me tell you, God did not just wake up and say, Abraham, come. I wish. No, no. He has planned everything for Abraham. He has planned everything. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer. I want you to thank God. I want you to receive from God his plans over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive your plans in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your plans in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive your plans in my life. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer for yourself. I don't know the plans you have. It's not only the land for, it's not only uh, God planning to give you land. You have many other plans. I want you to say today that you have received those plans from God. Not from man, from God. It was God who told Abraham his own plan towards him. I want you to pray it. Oh Lord God, help me to receive your plans. Help me to understand your plans in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive your plans in my life, in the name of Jesus, I receive your plans in my life, in Jesus' name. What plan? Number one, he said, I will make 
of D. God said, He will make of Abraham. He will make of Abraham. He will make of Abraham. Don't mind the semantics. Just follow me. I want you to pray it that way. Yes, I want you to pray it that way. Because God will make of you. God will make of you. God will make of me. Don't mind the semantics. I say God will make of you. God will make of me. I want you to pray it. And say, God, help me to understand that you will make of me. God, you will make of me. You, God, you will make of me. You will make of my life. You will make of my family. You will make of my married life. You will make of my ministry. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me to understand that you will make of me. You will make of me. In my life, you will make of me. I say, go ahead and pray that prayer that God will make of you. God will make of you. God will make of you. Let us tell God before we start going deeper that we know he has something to make of us. To make out of us. In the name of Jesus. That means what I'm saying from that prayer point is that God will make something out of one, out of you. God has planned to make something out of you in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know you will make something out of me. You will make something out of me. You will make good things out of me. In the name of Jesus, you will make something out of my life. You will make something out of my life. You will make something out of my life. In the name of Jesus, you will make something out of my life. You will make something out of my life. I want you to open your mouth and pray that prayer. And pray, and pray it. God, I thank you, for I know you will make something out of my life. You will make something out of my Do you know why you should say out something out of my Because you don't know the essence. God will go. You don't know how strong, how big that thing God wants to show. So, God, I know you will make something out of me, out of my life, in the name of Jesus. You will make something out of my life, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God will make out of you, out of me, God... I, I was saying that it means God will make something out of me, out of you. God will make something out of you. In actual sense, I'm saying that prophetically. Hmm. That God will make you in your life. God will make you in your life. That's what I'm saying. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know you will make me in my life. You will make me. You will make my life. You will make me. You will make my life. You will make my life. In the name of Jesus, you will make me in my life. You will make me in my life. In the name of Jesus, you will make me in my life. God, make me. Make me. Make me. In the name of Jesus. Father, help me to understand that you will make me in my life. Father, don't allow me to beat around the bush. Don't allow me to be jealous. Help me to know that you will make me. You will make my life in the name of Jesus. You will make my life. You will make me. You will make anything about me in the name of Jesus. Help me to know this, Father. In the name of Jesus. There are many of us today, they don't know that you are the maker of their life. You are the maker of everything concerning them. They are not caring to listen to your instruction. I mean, they are not listening to your instructions. They are going about doing horrible things. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us as individuals, help us as a, a church, help us as a family, help us as a nation to know you will make us. You will make us, Father, in the name of Jesus. You will make us, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. He told Abraham, 
about making his nation great. He said, we make his own nation great. God, we make your nation great. I say, God, we make your nation great. I don't know the nation you are today as far you are there. God, we make that nation great. Oh, Lord, make my nation great. Make my nation great. Make my nation to be great in my life, Father. Make my nation great. Make my nation great. Make my nation great. Make my nation great. Father, make Nigeria to be great. Pray for your nation. Pray for the nation you are at this moment. Pray for that nation that you are. Say, God, you are the one that makes nations to be great. Make my nation great. Make my nation to be great. Make my nation to be great. Make my nation to be great in the name of Jesus Christ. God said he has a plan to make Abraham's nation to be great. Oh Lord, make my nation to be great in my life in the name of Jesus. Make my nation to be great in my life in the name of Jesus. God went for that verse too. And I will bless thee. God will bless you. God will bless me. I want us to turn it to prayer and say, God, bless me in my life. Help me to understand. You will bless me. There is no two ways about it. Because of Jesus, Father, help me to know that you will bless me in my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that you know, God should help you to know that, you will, that he will bless you. God will bless you. Father, help me to know you will bless me. Help me to know you will bless me. In my life, in the name of Jesus, help me to know you will bless me in my life. In Jesus' name. You know, this is a prophetic uh, uh, prayer point. And uh, you know, here we always move from the natural to the supernatural. I want you to know what we are praying here exactly is that God has blessed you. I prophesy that God has blessed you. God has blessed your life. God has blessed your home, your relationship. In the name of Jesus, God has blessed your children. God has blessed anything that you have touched with your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know that you have blessed me in my life in the name of Jesus. Help me to know you have blessed me in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to know you have blessed me in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. He went for that to let Abraham know that uh, he will make his name great. That God said we make the name, Abraham's name, great. God will make your name great. I say, God will make your name great. I prophesy to you, God will make your name great. I prophesy upon your head, God will make your name great. Oh Lord, help me to understand. You will make my name great. You will make my name great. You will make my name great. In the name of Jesus, you will make my name great, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, make my name great. Mighty eternal God, make my name great. Your name in my life, make it great. In the name of Jesus, make my name great, Lord, for your glory, for your honor. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, when we go to Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, the Bible says, And I will bless them that bless thee. I prophesy to somebody here that God will bless those who bless you. God will bless those who bless you. Oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless those who bless me. Bless those who bless me. Help me to know, Father, that you will bless those who bless me. Who bless you in my life? Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know that. Help me to know that, that you will bless those who bless me. You will bless those who bless your name. 
in my life who are blessing you in my life. In the name of Jesus, help me to know that you will bless those who bless me. You will bless those who bless me. In my life, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. No need of quarreling and fighting, cursing people because they curse you. Just know that God has said it. That is one of the things he has put on ground. It's something security, something safety that he has put on you as a blessing he has ordained to bless those who bless you. He has not stopped there. He said, and curse him that curseth thee. Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. God said he will curse him that curseth thee. God will curse those who curse you. 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 God will curse those who curse me. Those who curse me. God say he will curse them. I want you to turn into prayer. So that you not be unnecessarily worrying people cursing you or insulting you or doing one thing or the other against you. I want you to pray this prayer. Oh Lord, help me to know. You will curse those who curse me in my life. You will curse those who curse me, who curse you in my life. In the name of Jesus, who want to curse and disgrace your anointing in my life. Who want to harass, Lord, your own anointing, your grace, your power, your mercy upon my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, curse those who curse me. Curse those who curse me. Curse those who are cursing me. Anywhere, anyhow, in any way, cause those who curse me. Cause those who curse me in the name of Jesus. Cause those who curse me in my life in the name of Jesus. Cause those who curse me in Jesus' name. The Bible says, And in thee shall all family. In Abraham shall all family. You see about blessing. I prophesy, in you shall family be blessed. In you shall families be blessed. Any family in your life, God has put you there to be a blessing. To be their blessing. Allah, except you are not a a child of Abraham. Let me tell you, in the name of Jesus, in you shall family be blessed. In you shall family be blessed. In you, family shall be blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to know that I am, that in me shall family be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. In me, family shall be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. In the name of Jesus. In me shall family be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. In the name of Jesus. In me shall family be blessed. In me shall family be blessed. Open your mouth and pray that in you families shall be blessed. In you family shall be blessed. In you families shall be blessed. Father. In me, family shall be blessed. In me, family shall be blessed. In my life, in the name of Jesus. In me, family shall be blessed. Halabo soko posi talaba. In me, family shall be blessed. In me, family shall be blessed. In me, families shall be blessed. In my life, in the name of Jesus. In me, family shall be blessed. In Jesus' name. It simply means God will use one to bless people in one's family. I don't know the kind of people in your family today. I don't know how many people are in your family. I don't know. Only thing I know by an act of prophecy is that you are the one in that family to bless the people. 
you are there, God is saying to you now that he will use you to bless the people in that family, in that your family. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, use me to bless people in my family. Use me to bless people in my family. In the name of Jesus, help me to bless people in my family. In the name of Jesus, help me to bless people in my family. In the name of Jesus, help me to bless people in my family. In the name of Jesus, help me to bless people in my family. In the name of Jesus, help me to bless people in my family. In Jesus' name, amen. God will use you to bless the people in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. And Bible says again, he said, and, verse, and in this shall the earth be praised. In this, in thee shall the earth be blessed. In thee shall the earth be blessed. That is Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. In you shall the earth be blessed. In you shall the earth be blessed. In you shall the earth be blessed. O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me to know that in me shall the earth be blessed. That in me shall the earth be blessed. The earth shall be blessed in my life. Yes, Lord, help me to know that. Use me to bless the earth. Use me to bless the earth. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me tell you, the Bible talks about the meek shall inherit the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. In the name of Jesus. Father, I receive your inheritance. I receive your inheritance. I receive your inheritance. I receive your inheritance in my life. That is the way, that is the way that you are created for me to be a blessing. That is the way you have created for me to be a blessing. I receive your inheritance. I receive your inheritance. I receive your inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Finally here, yeah, I want you to know what we are saying here is that God will use one, use you, use us to bless the earth we live in. Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 is the reading version. God will use you to bless the earth. Father, use me to bless the earth. Use me to bless the earth. Use me to bless the the earth. Use me to bless the earth. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let me tell you, to be a blessing, to be a blessing in one's life, God says he's going to use your country. That's why we should not abuse our country anymore because God is saying prophetically here that is going to use our country to make us a blessing. Yes, prophetically he's saying that he is going to use us to make our country, our land, a blessed country, a blessed land. Hallelujah. Again, that he is going to use us to bless the people in our families, whether your immediate family, your distant family, your the family of your children, they are your family. The God is saying that He's going to use you to bless the people in your family, the people in your country. That is why. God is saying to us, prophetically, our team for the week has been 
Yes, being a blessing. Being a blessing. You are a blessing. I was telling you last time we came here that God, the God we serve, is the God of blessings. Is the God of we can't be his children and not be a blessing. We can't be God's own children and not be a blessing to our generation, to the people around us. I want you to get that today. Nobody comes around God and not blessed. From today, as we have prophetically prayed, nobody will come around us and not be blessed spiritually, naturally, in every form. God, who has created or not below himself, God has not below, he created us small. God has not created us small God. God has not created us below his own standard. Neither his blessings in our life is below his own I mean, the standard of his blessings. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Let's all open our mouth and bless God for answering our prayers. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for making us our blessings. Thank you, Lord, for your promises, making us blessings. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings in our lives. Thank you, Father, for this which you have devoted it to teach us, that you have made us a blessing. That Abraham is our father. That we are Abraham's children. That if Abraham could be a blessing to his own generation, to many, many, many nations today, we can be, Lord, a blessing to our generations. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I want to let you know quickly before we close, that if you are in this platform today, you have not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, what I have just said has nothing to do with you, and you have nothing to do with it. Now I want to pray for you. I want you to receive Jesus Christ. Raise up your hand as I pray. That is the only way you can be blessed with these blessings. That is the only way you can be made a blessing by God. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your words. I receive them in the name of Jesus. Today, I repent. I ask for forgiveness of sins. I know I am a sinner now. I need the Savior. Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my Lord. You are my Master. Come into my heart and take place and take your place in my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I pray with you right now. Father, Lord, I thank you and I give you praise for giving the opportunity, this opportunity to your children to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for accepting them just as they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for writing their names in the book of life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. You say you are sick in your body. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every spirit of sickness from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus, you are healed right now. In the name of Jesus, check your life. You are healed. I don't care where you are right now, whether you are in hospital bed or you are lying down in your room, in your bedroom. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command that sickness to die in your life. That that sickness die in your life. In the name of Jesus. In your spirit, receive healing. In your soul, receive healing. Over your body, receive healing. Now, in the name of Jesus. I want you to know you will not die. In that, your, in that sickness, it's not your sickness. You will not die in it. I speak the word of God. The word of God has brought healing to every part of your body, every part of your soul and your spirit, and you have been made whole, totally healed in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. One day, I saw somebody here right now. I want to tell you something before I close. 
One day, and I want you to know, you died. You died. Hallelujah. You may not know. You died, but God raised you. You died. God raised you. I'm seeing you right now. Hallelujah. You know, that is confirming what the Bible is saying. Abraham actually slaughtered, sacrificed his own son. That's what the Bible says. Naturally, it may not make sense to you. But biblically, in the prophetics, the Bible says, in the eyes of God, Abraham slaughtered his son. But God raised him up. I prophesy resurrection into your life. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that you are here in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You say you lost a relationship. You need a restoration. Be restored now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that connection that will be disconnected. You and God have been disconnected. You and your wife, your husband, have been disconnected. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce that you be reconnected, be restored in your friendship, in your relationship, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Barabo Sokoposha. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, I give you praise and give you glory. For you have answered our prayers. But we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You just receive Jesus Christ. I just want you to look around. Attend Bible believing church. If you are in Abuja, I recommend that you come to New Gospel, New Covenant Gospel Church. New Covenant Gospel Church in Abuja or anywhere you are. Attend there. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Because it's a joyful thing to be under the kind leadership of one Reverend Dr. Felix Omogude. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Uh, my name is Reverend Dr. Monday Ehidiame Aluola. By the grace of God, I am the senior pastor of World of Faith Bible Church International here in the Abuja. Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, quickly, I want you to know before we go, I want to use this opportunity. You have been very responsive to the yearning, to the aspiration of this ministry, and that you have been doing by your support, by your donation, in kind or in cash. We appreciate you all that you have been doing. Let me tell you, for those of you who responded to our call during the week, I want to say, go by himself. We will be responsible to your own call. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you even right now for your offering. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for those who are paying their tithe here. I must confess, I don't take tithe from anybody who is not a member of this ministry, of this church. Take your tithe to where you fellowship, where you have a pastor. If I'm your pastor, bring your tithe here. If you are, okay, you say you are making donation. I say go by yourself with St. Angel to donate to you today. I'm expecting your alert. Let me tell you, as you give your offering today, send your alert. Make use of these details on the platform here. Use them. As you use these details, I see God using your details in life. In the name of Jesus. You have not given offering before in this place. Go ahead and give. To God be the glory. And God will open a new door for you. In the name of Jesus, because you are doing something unusual, something you have not done before. You have never given offering in this place before. 
now you are doing it. I say I'm prophesying over your head that God will open a new door for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your offering. Thank you for your donation. In Jesus' name. Please, when I say 2024, all that you need to say is my year of increase more and more. That inspiration came from our father, our papa, Reverend Dr. Felix Omobode. He gave us that inspiration. And again, if I say 2024, you say my year of global blessings. Because Papa Mobude cannot tell you you are increasing more and more for your own immediate environment. No, today you have been announced to the world that you are living in. You have been announced to your generation, just like Jesus was announced. God announced Jesus to his own world. That was when everything, boom, I see you making boom. Hallelujah. If I say it again, 2024, you say my year of uh, performance. You will perform this year as never before in Jesus' name. 2024, my year of increase more and more. 2024, my year of increase more and more. 2024, my year of global blessing. My year of global blessing. 2024, my year of performance. My year of performance. I see a great man of God here. God bless you. Uh, I know, no wonder we are blessed in this platform today. I'm talking about my brother Sonny. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your ministry. Of being here with us today. Great man of God. Hallelujah. I never forget. We changed button one time. Thank God for his grace today in our lives. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, I'm seeing somebody like. Uh, somebody like. Uh, hallelujah. Romel. Romel. Let me tell you. Barabo Sokopu. I'm seeing you, God, carrying you, carrying you, something like a horse. I see God will take you to your destination. I prophesy. Yes. Rumen, I say, God will take you to your destination in your life. Yes, Rumen. God will take you to your destiny. I see God carrying you, carrying you, carrying you. Malabo Soko Poshi Katala. Yeah, Taipa King, Taipa King, Taipa King, Taipa King. If I tell you this now, you may not believe me, but that is it. God says I should tell you right now. Your enemy will never see your back. I see you having victory over your enemies. I see you flying. Yes, rejoicing for the victory God has given to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Let me tell you, Roman, you are flying high. Higher and higher every day in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Taipa. Kalabo Soko. Let me tell you, King. Mm. Hallelujah. I never see anybody defeating you. I always see you defeating your enemies. I always see you celebrating victory in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, my name is Reverend Dr. Monday Hidyame Alola. On Sunday... I'll be around here again. Hallelujah. I want you to book a time with us. Share this program with your loved ones, even your enemies. Share it with them. Hallelujah. Because you are a blessing even from today. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shalom.